like to first say congrats to the Red Sox on a great regular season. Meredith. Aaron, you knew that it was inevitable probably at some point in time they would clinch, but does it still sting a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially, you know, kind of battling back there in the middle innings. It was just, you know, just a long, tough, slug it out game. And, you know, they just they just came up with more big, big offensive plays than we did tonight. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to finish off the start of a great series. But, uh, you know, credit to them. They just kept. You know, they just kind of weren't going to be denied today. Masahiro Tanaka had been so solid for you post All-Star break. Why do you think he had issues tonight? Yeah, he just got in trouble a little bit with his fastball, missed missed with some fastballs even when he was ahead in the count. Um, I thought stuff-wise he was okay. That's I, di I didn't feel like, uh, you know, I thought his split was fine. I thought the slider was there. Um, and even the, you know, the fastball would have played, but I thought he made some some mistakes with it some critical mistakes with two strikes especially a couple times uh to mookie um so just not as sharpest but you know again credit to them also realizing there's a lot of talent over there on the red sox side but when stanton hits that grand slam early in the game are you thinking this is this is turned and we're going to finish this one out with the bullpen oh yeah i mean uh, you know i'm always thinking that um and and obviously that was a big blow at the time and uh, and then Robbie comes in that next inning and kind of cleans up and holds them at bay, especially the middle of their order, which, which was a big, a, a really good job by him. Great, great turn by Dee Dee. And, and, and then we just couldn't add on. Wright came in and did a really good job holding us down. Um, and then they just, you know, they just kept kept battling you know Greeny had a great first inning there and then uh, Bradley got him on the changeup. So, um, yeah, they just again up up and down their lineup they just they just you know outslugged us a little bit Dan what do you think of uh Aroldis? um I have to watch a little bit I thought the stuff was okay obviously struggled a little bit with his fastball command um and that that hurt him a little bit um but I was encouraged at least to see the ball, I thought, come out well. I thought he threw some good sliders, even though he ends up getting hurt with the one to, to bets there. Um, so even though the line and the result wasn't very good, um, you know, I thought stuff-wise and, and physically, at least how he looked to me over there, uh, it, you know, a first step on his way back. Was that the kind of situation you wanted to get him into the first time out or not? Not, not necessarily. I mean, we were prepared to, you know, had we been leading there, you know, especially having used Dellen and Robbie at that point, he would have been our the guy there in the eighth inning. You know, so we were we kind of as best we could prepared him for a number of roles possibly tonight. It, it just so happened that it it was the eighth inning there when we we're down, but it could have easily been a seventh inning situation with a lead. Could have been a ninth inning situation with a lead. We kind of were as best we could prepared him for for a number of scenarios. Meredith and George. With the fastball command off, as you said, any consideration of bringing in somebody else or getting someone up earlier to, to face bats? I know you had Holder warming, but... Uh, no. Once um, once he got Leon, um, we felt like the best matchup there was Chappie. It was going to be his last hitter. He wasn't going to face Ben and Tendi, um, even left on left there. Um, but once it had he lost Leon, possibly we might have gone to get Holder. But we felt like our best chance there to get out of that inning was going to be Chappie against Betts. And in that seventh inning, is that the right move for Hicks to be throwing to third there? Yeah, I thought it was the right move. Um, you know, because he's not going to he's not going to cut the guy down at the plate from as deep as he was and. Um, I'd have to look and see how much if there was an overthrow of the cutoff man there, but you got to make, you know, obviously make sure the cutoff man there because they're probably, especially with Aaron's arm, they're not going to challenge him going to third necessarily there, but the, I thought the right decision anyway to go to third. George to the right. Aaron, does getting rid of the Red Sox for a couple of days actually help your team? As far as, you know, not have to answer any questions about clinching and all that other stuff. Oh. Um... I don't know, George. You know, we, you know, I felt like um, did a lot of things well in this series. Uh, you know, couldn't finish it off when it looked like we had a nice little comeback going in there in the middle of this game. So, you know, kind of getting back to the early question, you know, this stings a little bit. But, but we also feel like, 
you know, we're getting our, we've gotten our guys back where we feel like we're in position to hopefully take off and really start playing well. And, and, uh, you know, we'll have the, uh, I don't know, better, worse. I don't know.